Not the more and more and more and more and more and more and more that continues to come out. And it seems like if there were 66 women, allegedly, via the New York Times uh, reporting and investigation, 66 women massaged Deshaun Watson in 17 months. That's 3.87 massage women a month. Yep. There's about four weeks in every single month. That's one per week for 17 straight months. How old is he? We don't know. How long has he been in the NFL? I guess we can figure that out. That's only a 17-month period. What else is going on? The stories all seem to be pretty similar. So this would be quite a rouge mm -hmm. if everybody was lying. The NFL has quite a predicament here on their hands. Yeah, a couple of them. Uh, are the Cleveland Browns going to be able to get out of the deal? Are the Cleveland Browns going to be able to avoid any of the guaranteed money that is $230 million? We don't know. We'll talk to Andrew Brandt in the second hour okay. of this show today on Wednesday, June 8th, because he has been there, done that with contract negotiations, know the, knows the ins and outs. He's been an agent, and he's been front office for the Green Bay Packers. Mm -hmm. I think he'll have a little bit more clarity on that whole situation. I did see that the... Houston Texans allegedly gave Deshaun Watson NDAs to utilize. Uh, Bleacher Report reported that the New York Times reported that via their investigation, Deshaun Watson met a minimum of 66 women for massages over the course of 17 months. The Texans gave him access to hotel rooms for massage appointments and provided him with non-disclosure agreements per Jenny Florentes, who has done the entire the New York Times article, I believe. She was the one yeah. that did all the investigating. The Texans supplying hotel rooms, fascinating. I don't I didn't read that. I don't know that. The NDA thing, I guess. So every NFL team has some sort of retired bigwig cop, federal agent, Secret Service, somebody uh, that is overseeing their security and off the field stuff. So if you Let's say you get your accounts hacked, or let's say there is somebody showing up at your house, or there's some like there's always somebody in an NFL program that you are to go to, and then they know the people to get a hold of and kind of take care of the whole situation. I never, I was very lucky, I never had to do it. I've seen teammates though that have had either something take place where it was a message or a letter or something hacked or stolen or a situation arise and they go and then that person knows somebody and they take care of it. The way this one read was that the secret service member who former secret service member, who's now the head of the Houston Texans security, like handed him NDAs to use. It was like in his locker the next day or something after they helped set up a, like, I guess what the hotel rooms for it. It was, that was the weird thing. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how, and if Deshaun nor the Texans spoke to Jenny, I don't know how you would find out what happened on that end. So I'm not. The that, fact that the Texans, I guess, gave it to him would be weird. Like NDAs. I don't know. Like lawyers should people use NDAs for whatever. Like if someone, let's say, I don't know, Tom Brady has someone clean his house. I would imagine he probably has that person sign an NDA. That's normal, I think, when it's big-time, high-profile people and people are around their family or whatever it may be. But the fact that the team is involved, that's what makes it weird, I think. Yeah, and it – because normally you'd go to, like, I think your lawyers or – Well, yeah. But, like, with, like, Freeney's – the guys in Geese who are helping Freeney and his ankle who are in the building, wouldn't they also have to? Because if they saw, like, a play or something and – and they told the other I don't team. know. I, I was not a part of seeing the geese sign an NDA. I think it's going to be tough to get those guy, guys and geese to sign anything. <laughs> they know their signature is worth. They usually don't come in like, so but much. did they come in and treat him in the Colts facility? Uh, it was in our hotel. Yeah, but not like in the training room. I think it was in the hallway. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's at least in Green Bay, like there wasn't. Outside people didn't come in and treat us that weren't affiliated with the Packers. That didn't happen in our training room at the Colts either. That was at the Super Bowl in a hotel when we're down there. So yeah. in the Colts training facility. I'm not sure mm -hmm. how often an NDA is just out there. That was set up by Dwight though, not by the Colts, right? Uh yes. And I wonder like if Deshaun asked them for a copy of what an NDA looks like, you know, and they give it to because they feel they have they could have had no idea. Maybe they knew this was going on, but I don't think any of us could have expected a starting quarterback in the NFL to do like them acting like the Texans were trying to help him in this entire thing in the article, which by the way, she has done a lot more research than any of us, but just as somebody that's been in a building, that would have been, I think that would have been tough to happen. Yeah. Follow up. Why do you want to be traded from them? I mean, I don't know. I have no clue. You know, like I don't, so I guess there's, if and no, is it normal? Like, I don't know. Someone would have to tell us, is it common for people to get NDAs? Uh, like when they get a massage to have 
the masseuse sign it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've never heard of it, but who knows? Me neither. Well, I feel like too. In a lot of situations, you're not getting sixty six different masseuses. Like you have your one. It's guy. alleged, by the way. Allegedly, we, we sure. Don't, we, this is how do they find that number? How do they? How does anyone know? I think she did a lot of investigating. Like yeah. Jenny. Like was, how would Deshaun know? Like I guess they could go through all of his phone records, right? That's the only way. This, I mean, this started so long ago that an article like this, it feels like probably the beginning of it was probably like last year, this time, or even longer. It had to be so much investigation. So yeah. much. But if nobody from Deshaun's team or Houston talked to her, I don't know how they would know why or how he got the NDA from the Texans. Would Because there's an easy way to... Could have talked to one of the accusers that was presented in the NDA, I'm guessing, yeah, right? Had yeah, had a but, copy of it. But alluding that the Texans were, knew oh. what was going on and gave him because of that, like that's yeah. a big that's a big accusation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he could have very easily said, hey, what does a copy of an NDA look like? Like just saying like, oh, can you? Because remember, I think we all thought Deshaun was like, and then the way he talked in that press conference was like, my mama, I was raised by my mama, my grandmama. Like, I, like. He I, told the team about some Instagram posts and this is from his deposition and after he told them about talking to some folks on Instagram they arrived and presented him the NDA huh. what is that what was the conversation on Instagram about oh. massages well and to your point like him saying that stuff also when the criminal jury didn't indict him when we heard that they would indict a ham sandwich it was like oh okay then that is also another thing that kind of led us down the path that maybe this wasn't completely him. And then it feels like the last two weeks has been a complete turn. Yeah, I have. I feel like I am very much a let's, uh, you know, everything's alleged, everything's alleged, everything's alleged. Because I've seen with close friends of mine, teammates of mine, other guys on other teams, things happen in the past where it's alleged. It turns out not being the case or, or it is alleged and it turns out being worse than what was being alleged. I mean, there is so much that can happen. So I've tried to remain as... You know, because these are very serious. Every single time, we would like justice to be served to the maximum degree. If because these are terrible things that are being accused. If he did it, we would like maximum punishment. If he didn't, also would like that to be covered if that potentially happens. And then the non-indictments happen. Two of them. It's mm -hmm. like, well, okay, so maybe the alleged thing is is just that. But for me, it's been hard over these last couple of weeks, especially with the New York Times and the clips yeah. and uh, that have been pulled out. It's hard not to be like. This dude's preying on people, man. Like, hey, this is not good for the NFL at all. It's hard not to think like that. Even though they are allegations, it's terrible for the league and everybody that's ever played in it. Oh, it's, it's awful. The whole situation, I think, I mean, this is the first time I feel like they're dealing with something like this. Such a unique deal. It's just the massive, it's the number of accusations I think that people struggle with. Like that many people coming together, all saying something. Who knows what the truth is, but when there's 20-something, 20 20-plus, People are like, all right, like, I don't know. This is weird. Seems to be a trend here. Unless yeah. this is the most elaborate rouge in the history of this sort of thing, there seems to be quite a trend happening. The well, hotel as well. It seems like the team had a uh, standing room at the hotel. It wasn't in Deshaun's name. It was in a team trainer's name. So he would go use that space at the hotel. It was like reserved for a team. Yeah, but he might, he might use that person's name to get a room and not use his name. You know, like we don't know why or how. We don't know if the team just had this room. He might why would been, the team have the room there? Like a that's city, what I'm saying. Even right? if it's it, if it was for mold, is it for anyone on the team to use? Like they would never. Why would they? Liability wise, why would they do? That? But I know a lot of humans who have stayed in hotel rooms not under their names. Believe it. Well, or yeah, not. they put them in fake names when the team's on the road too. All yeah, but not just and when you're with the team. Like I know a lot of guys whenever they're traveling personally, yeah. they are in completely different names. So maybe this could be now. What I'm saying, though, is just accusing the team of being a part of this is a massive ac Huge. alleged. This is a massive accusation. Big deal. Massive deal. But this all could be just Deshaun, who we're learning a lot about, kind of, you know, manipulating everything. Could he be. said in a uh, deposition that he did not think the team was aware of the massage appointments at the hotel. He said, quote, unquote, not that I know of. So, so why was the room there? So if the team, well, then maybe it just, yeah. The team didn't set the room up with the trainer. He could have very easily just set it up under that yeah. person's name, right? Though, yeah, or asked him. Like, couldn't he ask him? Why would he, he want the team? He to know? You think that he, he wants the team to know that he's getting sixty-six massages. Verbatim from the article, Watson acknowledged in a deposition that the Texans arranged for him to have a quote-unquote place at the Houstonian. That's the hotel. 
He used the fitness club. He dined there and also set up massages in the hotel rooms. They weren't aware of the massage appointments at the hotel, quote unquote, that I know of. Watson said. Ah, uh, probably for family and people coming in town for games. I guess that. So he probably I negotiated that, that, by the way, yeah, into his deal. his deal. I'd assume that was part of a negotiation into his deal. And if we know anything about his representation, I mean, they're going to get good deals. Mm -hmm. But I, I just think if the Texans were in this, that's a hey. Makes it. Way is this bigger. the first time? This the first accusations that the Texans were kind of at least had somewhat some kind of knowledge. It sounds like it, right? I don't know. I don't to think my knowledge, it, yeah. Know. yeah, this is the first time a team's been like implicated in any fashion. Hmm. Rusty Harden, he's Deshaun Watson's lawyer. Are you surprised a little bit at how vocal he's been, like what he the different statements he's been making? Yeah, there will be lawyers. This one's really loquacious. This guy. Loquacious? <laughs> What's that mean? What does that mean? I'm writing that one down. That means glib. That means outspoken. That means doesn't care what he says in the media. He's been around so long. And loquacious. I don't get it. You know, I would not be saying anything. I would think him talking about uh, happy endings as kind of normalizing it, that doesn't help any case. It was <laughs> mentioned. It was even mentioned in the latest filing that went on yesterday. And I knew that would be once they put that out there. Listen, AJ, I, I've been pretty clear on this. I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, we've been dealing with this for 18 months. We're going to see discipline, as, as my colleague Albert Breer said the other day, maybe in July. But this one bugs me because I can get signing a guy who's maybe had some character issues or had some bad things going on in his life as a player on your team, just a player. But the Browns made him the face of the franchise. The Browns gave him the best contract in the history of football. The Browns gave him the most secure contract in football for a guy facing this. For a guy that, even with the 22 lawsuits, a pattern where, let's just put it as nicely as possible, where he sought massages wanting them to work on his private parts. I mean, this is something like, really? This is the face of the Browns? And with the Trevor Bauer two-year suspension, with new information, dribs and drabs coming out almost every day, I have a hard time seeing him get on the field this year. I, I do. I just think, like, really? The NFL trying to appeal to women, the NFL trying to, uh, precedent of Roethlisberger, precedent of Ezekiel Elliott, precedent of Ray Rice indefinite suspension after the video, like, they're going to put him on the field this year, even for a couple games? I'm having a hard time seeing that right now. Andrew, and I think um, as somebody who has represented the league before, worked there, and AJ I know feels this way, and every, like the NFL is filled with very, very, very good guys who do very, very good things for their communities, for their families, for everything. I mean, large majority of guys in the NFL end up being great in the cities that they play for and in the communities that they came from and everything like that. This, the more and more that comes... The New York Times article yesterday was disgusting. Like, that, that's predatorial shit, like preying on people. The NFL, I don't know how anybody wants that to be a representative of our league, you know? And obviously these are all allegations, and there's going to be 24 trials and everything like that. But this is not good for anybody that's ever been associated with the NFL to have this person associated right now. I don't understand how it's gone on for so long. I don't understand how we haven't had the, the punishment, the exemption list or whatever. And to your point, I don't understand how he became the highest paid. It's not good for the NFL, Andrew, because these are very terrible things that are being, you know, accused in uh, like 24 of them. 66 women in 17 months, allegedly. A lot of them not choosing the press charge. It's like, this is insanity at this point. I was looking for the white whale, you know, for years. Who's going to be that guy? Not Kirk Cousins three years. Who's going to get that fully guaranteed, fully guaranteed, just like NBA, Major League Baseball, fully guaranteed five, six-year deal in the NFL? Is it going to be Russell Wilson? Is it going to be Aaron Rodgers? Is it going to be Pat Mahomes? It's this guy. It's this guy. This is the guy who's this the white guy. whale. Browns. This is the guy who's got a fully rock solid 230 million. Oh, 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 follow up. Is there any voids in that? Because allegedly, uh, what's being talked about, and I don't know if you've seen the contract inside and out, I don't even know how that works. Why are people leaking people's contracts? I don't know, like, let alone this, but 
just in general, it feels like Florio has the contract before that thing signed. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because Florio has been doing a lot of work in the NFL for a very long time. People are talking about maybe a void to this deal because the Browns didn't know about the 24th accusation, which immediately brings out everybody on the internet going, uh, 23 is fine, but 24 is not. And I think the reason why that is a thing is because the Browns wanted full transparency. And if anything on top of that was added, it was something they'd not expect or know had happened. And they feel like they had been lied to Deshaun Watson, maybe. Is that what you're hearing? And is there voids in every contract, I think, isn't there? No, this is this contract's different. I was told, and actually by a reliable source, that this contract had protections far beyond other contracts for the player. In other words, it looked like this contract was written by the agent for Watson. Again, the the, the Southern teams, this, this is a kid from the South, the Saints and Panthers and Falcons were in this. And the Cleveland Browns were out. Well, how did the Cleveland Browns get back in? It's the contract, $230 million, 46 a year, fully guaranteed. What I am told about his, his misconduct is that what has happened with these accusations will not affect any kind of void of suspensions for void of guarantees for 2023, for any of the contract based on what's happened. So any, anything that happens new is going to affect potential future guarantees, but not for 2022 or 2023. It could affect 24 through 26. So 22 and 23 are completely rock solid. 24 through 26, if he gets in new problems of misconduct, then they can go after some guaranteed money. <laughs> 